this book is an absolutely incredible read. But if you like audiobooks, it's just as good. So if you want to know what I'm talking about, I'm going to do a book review. Stick around, check it out. So when I started up this YouTube channel, I really didn't think I was going to be doing book reviews. I figured I'd be talking about movies, television shows, video games, comic books, things like that. But lately, I've come across a, a run of books that have just been absolutely amazing. The first one was <clears throat> Ready Player One. It was written by Ernest Klein. As a matter of fact, this is actually going to be turned into a movie, so... I'm sure I'm going to be talking about it down the road. I think it's going to be released in 2017. Steven Spielberg's going to be uh, directing it, so uh, keep an eye out for that. The second book that I did um, a review on was Armada, also written by Ernest Cline. Both of these books rely heavily on 80s um, references and things that took place in the 80s. Uh, music, movies, television shows, uh, comic books, role-playing games, things like that. And since I grew up in the 80s, they really spoke to me. But, you know, it's hard to find something that is similar to what he's done. And he's only he's only written two books. So, you know, I was like, wow, you know, I really like this, you know, style of writing. I hope I can find something else to read or listen to that, you know, will pique my interest. Well, I found it. And it was written by John, uh, I think it's Scalzi, S-C-A-L-Z-I. It's called Red Shirts, which incidentally is why I'm <laughs> wearing a red shirt. Uh, this doesn't deal with the 80s, obviously. Uh, it deals with the 1960s version of Star Trek, kind of. Um, it's, it's very funny. It's a great read, but it's also exciting and um, emotional at the same time. Um, now, with the job that I do, I do a lot of driving. So um, instead of traveling around and trying to find different radio stations to tune into i usually download audiobooks and listen to them while i'm driving around and this one was absolutely incredible will wheaton does the narration of this and he does an amazing job uh not only is he a great actor but i mean when he reads a book he's able to um convey different characters through his voice uh emotionally um well even you know just in the way he speaks he he does an incredible job will wheaton <laughs> you do a great job. Um, if I find out that he's narrating a book, chances are I'm going to download it. I mean, he's that good. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm getting away from myself. Red Shirts, uh, this is the uh, description that uh, Audible.com posted next to the book. So, you know, let me read it to you. Instant Andrew Dahl has just been assigned to the Universal Union capital ship Intrepid, flagship of the Universal Union since the year 2456. It's a prestige posting, and Andrew is thrilled all the more to be assigned to the ship's xenobiology laboratory. Life couldn't be better. Until Andrew begins to pick up on the facts that, one, every away mission involves some kind of lethal confrontation with alien forces. Two, the ship's captain, the chief science officer, and the handsome Lieutenant Kerensky always survive these confrontations. And three, at least one low-ranking crew member is sadly always killed. Not surprisingly, a great deal of energy below decks is expended on avoiding, at all costs, being assigned, uh, assigned to away missions. Then Andrew stumbles on information that completely transforms his and his colleagues' understanding of what the starship Intrepid really is and offers them a crazy high-risk chance of saving their own lives. This is an incredible read. If you get a chance, I'd, I'd really, I'd, I'd like to tell you more about the book, but um, I don't want to give anything away because there are so many twists and turns and just things that you're like, what? Wow. You know, it just, it's an amazing story. Um, if you enjoy Star Trek, the original series, if you enjoy... Um, irony <laughs> if you enjoy comedy and you know everything about you know red shirts you know it, the red shirts are the star trek um people that you know they went down with spock bones or kirk and then there was the ensign with the red shirt and whenever they confronted something you know the red shirt always died that's kind of what this is dealing with but um in a, a completely unique way um it's absolutely an incredible listen, and I'm sure it's an incredible read. I'm going to pick up the book and uh, 
keep it in my collection because it was that good. Um, if you have any questions about it uh, before you buy it, uh, you can um, ask me. I'll be happy to answer them to you. Uh, but do it in a way that you know nobody else gets uh, you know any spoilers for the book. You can reach me at um, comconacave at gmail dot com, or you can reach me on Twitter at comconaclast. Um, if you have any other questions um, that won't give anything away, you can leave them in the comment section below. And uh, also uh, check out my blog. It's www.thecomconacaveblog.blogspot.com. And that's it. Um, oh, by the way, uh, this weekend I'm going to be starting a new Facebook page that's going to be um, directly dealing with the Comcona Cave. So um, as soon as I get that up and running, I'll post the uh, link to that in the comment section below. And if you like it, you know, like, subscribe, or, you know, whatever they have you do. I don't know. But that's it. If you have any questions, like I said, leave them in the comment section below. You can reach me any of the ways that I just mentioned. And uh, I hope you enjoyed today's show. And until next time, take it easy. <laughs>